Damn, fucking Jesse. You were being a pussy back there. I'm telling you, I didn't even want to come to this fucking party in the first place. Shit. Man, there's a girl in there that fucking likes you, and if you don't do anything about it, I'm gonna kick your ass and get with her. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna do shit, man. Man, you need to stop being a pussy and do something about it. Fuck off, right? Besides, if you do, you can tell mom.
motherfucker. this time. Reason number 10. I've heard that one before. Go put your shoes on. Well, if there was a guy, I would still have a dad. I love you, baby. I love you, too. But, um... Yeah? You're pregnant, aren't you? What are we gonna do about this? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't have the money. What the fuck do you want me to do? You should have thought about that before. I fucked up, okay? I know, but it doesn't make it any more right for you to just leave us. What's really stupid. You're stupid. Fuck you. You know what? You should, you should leave. But you know what? If you do leave, I don't want you to fucking come back. Don't call me. Don't write me. I don't want to ever see your fucking face again. What the fuck? I love you guys. That, that's why I'm leaving. Yeah. You're showing a lot of love. Let's just go back to bed. You're such a pervert. My sisters will be here any minute.
You see, that's them now. Go get the door. Right. There you go. Thank you. Hey, your sisters can wait. Hasta la ya, cochino. Go get the door. Okay, okay. But later, you're going to pay for it. It's going pretty good. So how are your sisters doing? Well, Janice, as you know, lost her job and um, I was kind of thinking if you can talk to Cisco, maybe he can get her a job at the uh, body shop. Oh, hell no. Nah. Are you serious? I'm serious. You know Cisco and your sister used to do the wild thing, right? And they used to bump uglies and all that. Cisco will kill me. Well, can you at least talk to him? I'll talk to him for you, baby. And by the way, what is it that you guys do at this auto body shop? Maybe that's why women don't belong there. You just won't understand. That's why they call it the body shop, baby. Got a beer. Hello, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, you got to come down to the shop, man. Come down to the shop? No, man. I told you I wasn't working today. Just come down, Jesse. Matter of fact, man, why don't you guys just lock up? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, man, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, man, I gotta go, I got another call on the other line. All right, later. Hello? What's up, baby, bro? Nothing, man, I'm just making some killer ass menudo, man. Hey, man, I told you not to make menudo, man. I'm making a big pot of menudo myself. Yeah, but your menudo sucks. <sighs> Jesse. Jesse! Ah, you big baby. If you really want it, we can get it. Yeah. That's a little of it. Yeah. I think it's kind of ugly, though. No, it's not ugly. Mm. I like it. Um. Yeah, I don't know, but why don't uh, why don't you try some things on? Maybe we'll get you an outfit. You got your ticket? Uh. Well, that's for me to worry about. Okay. Uh, let's try stuff on. All right. Oh, that's as bad as the sweater. You look like Don Johnson. You look like a drug lord. Oh, that's nice. I like that. 
Oh, you look so grown up. It's making mommy sad. Almost done. Game's getting ready to start. You can watch it. Probably not. You mad because I made you wash the car? Nope. Well, maybe next time you won't get my car dirty. Yeah, maybe. You missed the spot. I hope you wash your ass better than you wash your car. You taught me, Dad. Father like son. Yeah, like father like son. You know, son, you've been working real hard these last few months since we opened the shop. Yep. You know, and I know today's supposed to be your day off, and I got you out here washing the car. But I guarantee you, this will be the last time you wash my car. Good. Come here, son. Well, son, like I said, this will be the last time you wash my car, son. Good. This is, this is your car, son. I put the rabbit's foot on here, just like my father did for me when he gave me my first car. Take me to the bar. Cisco, what the hell are you guys doing here today? I told you man, it's not our fault, man. It's Christmas Eve. Why aren't you guys home with your families? Look, we want to show you something. And why wait till after Christmas to show you a gift, man? Hi, uh, Jesse. You now own a brand new six deuce, baby. Yeah. Holy shit. Man. Don't you guys find time to do this? Hey, we hid it pretty damn good from you, didn't we? Kept it for Lone's garage most of the time. Lone had it in his garage all this time. I know this yeah. took a while. Man, man, it took a minute, man. This thing is beautiful. It's mine? It's all yours. It's all yours, Jesse. It ain't stolen, is it? <laughs> Legitimate, baby. It's all yours. It's like hitting the lottery, man. 
Merry Christmas, bro. Merry Christmas. Belong, bro. Merry Christmas, bro. Hey, I figured with all the mess we put you through throughout the years, man, I hope this makes up for it. Boston. Just a little, man. Just a little. It's like, I feel like I hit the lottery, man. <laughs> I can imagine, man. It's look like you guys been up at night. Because I know we've been doing a lot of work lately. You know, I've been working, you guys, you know. That's why I wanted you guys to take the day off. It's Christmas Eve. You guys should be home with your families. Hey, brother, look. I got to get back home to the old lady. She's already pissed enough. Do me a favor. Make sure you lock this up for me. Check it out. I'll do you one better, bro. I may bring it down to your house tonight, all right? And if Christine's there, maybe you can hook me up. All right, Cisco. All right, man. Okay. I'll see you when I can Merry do Christmas, that. bro. I guess I'll see you later, man. I'll see you later. Cisco, go long. Catch you later. Go home to your family. It's not funny, man. I love my dad. Get the fuck out of here. That's always dragging shit into your bar, man. What's good? It's Max. He's here. Max? Million dollar Max? That motherfucker owe me money, man. I know. Yeah, keep him there. I'll be there in about 15 minutes. You know I want to find this fee, right? Hello? Mo? You there, Mo? Dad was in here this week, karaoke night and shit. So he gets on stage. I couldn't believe it. Instead of coming up and singing and blowing out the speakers, Christmas wish to go he does some poetry. To get off the street and stop living all alone. To apologize to my wife and to start a new life. To be a better man and to be a father to my little man. I just want to go home. Poetry? Yeah, poetry. I think it was about you. Okay. You know, Mo's still trying to keep tabs on me. Yeah, I'd figured he's wanted money. Do you have his money? Not really. You're a dead man. I, I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Johnny, you're not gonna shoot me. What? Not in the head. You always gotta be that badass, don't you? 
thinking you're all bad. Ass. Here's your chance to run. You're good at that. Slow down, slow down. What you doing? Hold oh, on, man. I gotta show you something. What the hell is this, man? What is you, Santa Claus now? Man. Santos Claus? <laughs> the Mexican Santa Claus? It's a Christmas gift. I see that. I just hope there's a lot of dead crackers in here with a lot of green in them. What's, What's going on? You, man. Do you have what the fuck I came for? You see what I'm gonna do? Cause I'ma have these guys take you out back. They gonna fuck you up so bad you gonna wish they killed your ass. You gonna kill me, Mo? Look, man, just do me a favor. <laughs> a favor? Yeah, man, if you're gonna kill me, just get this to my son. This motherfucker sound like a tell novella. You insulting me, you owe me 50 fucking thousand dollars, Max. You know me, Mo. You know I have something lined up. I need your help, though. You need my help. You can triple what I owe you. <laughs> what did I tell you, man? Didn't I tell you if you came back to South Phoenix and you didn't have my money, I was gonna kill your ass? You shouldn't place bets on sure things, Max. I know, man. I was young and stupid. I thought he'd start. He didn't even play the fucking game. Let me ask you something, man. I feel like I'm a reasonable nigga. Have I ever threatened your family? I don't know, man. Have I? You see, your suck ass pops came by. Yeah, he wanted to make payment arrangements with me. Like I'm a fucking loan officer or something. And that girlfriend of yours, that bitch Christine? <laughs> I took that bitch out a few times. Showed her a good time. Your son, buying them gifts. I'm playing daddy. Where the fuck are you, Max? You know what? I got something for you. Get him up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get him in the fucking car. Get him in the So, did you think about what you were going to do with the car? I guess just cruise around. Hey, is it stolen, by the way? No, I asked Cisco the same thing. He said it's all legit. Him and Pilon built it. Jesse, I know you don't mention Max or think about him, but I know, I know you miss Max. And he's doing just fine, Jesse. How do you know that? Because he calls every now and then. You know, I tried to help him. I did, but he got himself into this mess. There's nothing I could do. He's got to get himself out of this. You know, I love Christine and Lil Max, but he fucked that up too. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know, Jesse. If I hear the doorbell, I believe it might be your brother. I'll be right back there. You're a good father. We did the best we could. I know. I love you, baby. I love you too, Jesse. What's up, baby, bro? Yeah, hey, what's happening, bro? Yeah. Uh, nice sweater. Yeah, nice sweater. Very, very huxtable of you. Really, man, watch your shit, man. Damn. Mom, are we gonna go in yet? Yeah, baby. Hey! Hi! 
Christmas, Mia. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Papa. Merry Christmas. Hey, Mia, what you got, huh? What you got, huh? What you got, huh? What's going on, huh? How you doing? Good. Hey, Max, you can put the gifts down on the table with the rest of them. For me? Ooh, what'd you get me? A sweater. A sweater? Ooh, it's pretty. Not the light sweaters. Put it on, Baba. Put it on. Put it on already? Max, don't be pushy. Okay, I'll put it on. Ooh, boxing gloves. They're just like your dad used to have. What, dad? Yeah, they're just like his. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, come on, it's about time he learns how to defend himself. <laughs>